Let's take it away. It's Utsu with Republic Commando. The stage is yours. E, vamos lá, school. Star Wars. All right, uh, everyone. Hello. My name is Utsu, and I'm going to be running Star Wars Republic Commando. So uh, this run kind of gets started real fast. I'm going to do an U basically right from the start and out of bounds. Ele vai... So, uh, as I do that, Ele... I'm just going to go and let my couch introduce <laughs> Ele falou que ele vai fazer bastante UVs, <laughs> ou seja, vai ter bastante hora of bounds aí nessa run, gente. Pra quem viu Penumbra, vai ver algo parecido aí. <laughs> Eu acho que sim, Gelinho. Apesar que Pepsi Bem é bem mais conhecido do que o Coca-Cola Kid. <laughs> E Pepsi Man, é, meu jogo, é um dos meus jogos favoritos, eu joguei muito Pepsi Man. Ele vai tentar fazer a... um truque aí que envolve você pular para poder chegar no lugar mais rapidamente. Eu acho que é para bater com o Pepsi Man que teve na... Né, que teve justamente uh, então, já, na, na GDQ. Sim, é um penumbra sem terror, exatamente. Teremos um penumbra só que sem terror, né? Mas. Né? Né? Só que é na forma de Star Wars. <risos> Yeah, for sure. So the in this game, there's a little bit of an exploit to do with uh, the loading screens and levels, or <laughs> any loading screens in general. You can actually do a bunch of actions. No, no, tem sabre de luz, mas tem um bastão de luz que você usa para você se guiar no escuro. Então, é um sabre de luz. Quick save and quick loading has a, a, an interesting effect where it kind of cancels some of the setup stuff that happens at the beginning of the level. Um, specifically in this level right here, that a uh, thing that we're telling six do to do normally the um uh that that green commando that's right there would be the only one that can do that but he's doing some animations so it uh saves a few seconds by allowing six to do that sooner e ele mais um clipe agora six two and four oh they are two of the clone commandos that can be joining us for the rest of this game uh six two is the explosives expert and four oh is the hacking expert Sim, tem certas movimentações que ele faz sim, que é justamente para ir mais rápido, para chegar mais rápido no local. Mas nós só vamos passar sobre eles e vamos passar. Então, você não vai realmente aprender muito sobre eles, além do que você pode ouvir durante a run. Aqui eu vou fazer um truque em que, se você colocar sua colisão contra duas colisões, você só vai se aproveitar para fazer um skip. Ele deu reset ali, porque não deu certo. Mais uma vez. Agora foi? Ele vai colocar um detonador para poder... Só se a gente vai sair andando. Hop up here and just ignore that. Uh, and hopefully these Geonosians here don't, yeah, like they do that instead of jumping in front of me. Sometimes they just dive into the pit. <laughs> They're like, oh, um, it's the speedrunner again. I give up. <laughs> I'm gonna slip up there. I'm gonna do another Pull quick save quick load here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to mm -hmm. first, uh, spamming the walk button, which keeps me from going down this uh, these zip lines here. Aqui, é, ele consegue fazer esses skips porque justamente é, certos, é, justamente esses locais aí que ele faz skip possui colisão em outros lugares, não tem colisão, então onde, onde ele é, né, é meio que você tem que saber justamente o local onde que tem colisão ou não, no caso, né, quando requer justamente ele, ele fazer certas escaladas, ele simplesmente... Vai se aproveitar dos pontos onde o jogo possui colisão para fazer a subida e se para a área. E onde não tem colisão, como vocês viram, ele simplesmente atravessou ali a parede pronto. <risos> Conta um pouquinho da história. 
the room. Bonjour. Though he's okay. He likes chicken nuggets and he got covered in ketchup. Okay, he's a messy eater. Leave him alone. <laughs> sure. He was very hungry before we came here, and he didn't have time to do his laundry. Yeah, don't okay, hate on alone. Seth. Seth is the cool one. Listen, cool I haven't one. played this game. You could be lying to me, and, and I, you know what? I believe you. Seth is legitimately a cool character. Okay. A little edgy, but he's the cool kind of edgy. Yes. So exactly. I just picked up the DC-17 sniper attachment, which uh, is the uh, it's the highest, it's the second highest damage gun that you will, no matter what. E agora o Ryan possui mãos. É a segunda arma mais forte do jogo que dá mais dano. Então, então, e ele dá muito mais dano ainda quando você utiliza justamente a mira, né, é, sniper. Então, ele vai estar utilizando da mira sniper para matar os inimigos mais rapidamente para fazer a progressão. So I didn't really explain the commands I can do. So we've got form up, which is basically the command. Então, o jogo é de 2005 para PC, Luna. Eu sei que tem muitos jogos de Star Wars. Né? Tanto jogos que eu fico até perdidinho. Do whatever you want command. Going back to that quick save, quick load at the beginning. There's a shield around this generator here. So usually I have to drop it to command my commandos to start planting a bomb but uh, i can give the command early ele tá dando o comando para justamente o né o pessoal que tá seguindo ele ali no jogo para fazer certas coisas né já que eles são praticamente inteligência artificial hold e on this uh this going to be a big theme throughout the whole run just holding e on buttons and hacking them down is there any sort of like rng or variance with your ally positioning or is this all pretty consistent uh, it's pretty consistent. Uh, m the only thing that's what they do is in. O que o RNG, de lá fez is, é se a inteligência artificial, here, justamente dos comandos que, easy, we'll né, que ficam seguindo o seu personagem, se tem alguma RNG ou não, eles falou que é, o Runner disse que a, a inteligência yeah, artificial é, desses personagens é bem consistente, ou seja, dificilmente ele vai ter algum Are problema. Com a inteligência artificial justamente dos comandos, né, é, fazendo alguma coisa que não deveria estar fazendo. Porque, bom, convenhamos, né, né, quando você depende justamente de, de, de inteligência artificial para fazer alguma coisa no jogo, é uma coisa terrível, né, principalmente quando a inteligência não é boa o suficiente, então... Quando você já tem uma inteligência que não te dá dor de cabeça, isso já não vai te prejudicar, então... Ele esqueceu de matar um inimigo ali. Então, eu vou atirar isso, e eu mencionei que o quick save e o quick load é ok, eles não estão matando esse cara. <laughs> Give it a little bit. Okay, but um, so I mentioned quick saving, quick loading is like the uh, tech of this game. Um, I'm gonna throw some names. Falou que o quick save, quick load é uma das coisas que ele and, pode um, estar uh, abusando bastante nesse jogo e kind of como vocês <laughs> podem ver, justamente a uh, fazer o quick save, quick load uh, permitiu com que o objeto não caísse no no abismo e com isso ele Simplesmente ele já esquipou ali, já fez um skip. Was this, wait, was this game on anything besides PC? It was on Xbox. I used to play this on Xbox. Did you quick save on Xbox? Like, did that work? No, it did, did no quick save on Xbox. Oh, man. They added quick saving and quick loading to the, uh, to the new, uh, re-releases, though, on, um, Switch and PS4. Uh, oh, yeah, it did come out on Switch. Yeah, that's right. Oh, how cool. So, because I did that, uh, it offset the hitbox of this bridge here. So I can't actually go the intended way. There's just a hole in the floor. Oh. <laughs> so, so you gotta go around. É simplesmente, né? Na hora ele tava fazendo o clip ali, ele acabou tomando o clip do clip e caindo no lugar que não era para cair. Ele simplesmente carregou. A true show woman you are. Very well done. Sim, tem um pouco de jogo no meio dos zumbis aí, sim. Yeah, like how sudden it was. I'm gonna go and place this bomb here, and uh, this this level here probably has the the like most lackluster skip that saves the most time out of any level. Um, 
this this whole level is nothing but like 10 second 10 to 20 second bomb placements hacking sequences um and just looping tunnels like the one i'm going in but uh luckily i can just climb through a window and just get to the end of the level Uh, ele falou que geralmente nessa, nesse trecho que eles dá, você tem, tem que colocar bombas, tem que hackear, né, fazer essas coisas e ele vai fazer um, um clip que vai permitir que ele chegue já ao final da fase mais rapidamente, né, ele vai... E pronto. Wait, is it literally that easy? It's that easy. And uh, this is the last bomb. Yeah, what else one bomb? Once I blow this up it's going to trigger the all the end sequences. Uh, don't mind that my squad is dying. They'll be back in the next level. Ele diz que não tem problema uh, uh, se o esquadrão dele morrer que uh, eles vão estar vivos na próxima fase. Is, uh, if you have a full mag on your gun or if the, basically if the gun can't do a reload animation, you can skip any other animations with the gun by pressing reload ele so diz que é, que recarregando a arma ele consegue esquipar uh, algumas animações então é, por isso que ele fica recarregando tem hora a arma e com isso ele, né, isso ajuda a cortar né e não são as animações mas a ganhar tempo e agora há dois bomb sequences here that I have to do but uh, you know you always have games where you're like I could totally jump over that why do I have to why do I have to like go get a key Sim, é um so simulator like, exatamente gelinho There's a lot of collision that uh just kind of you can climb on uh the one I'm coming up to here is a bit harder so some people just kind of place this bomb instead of a uh, actually uh yeah that's what I'm doing I'm terrible at this one I'm Always impressed when Itsu gets it first try because it's very hard to do. Usually in a normal run, I wouldn't kill that guy, but um, sometimes he can just kind of be floating here and we'll mess this up. And I nice. got a first try. Oh, very nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> that, that's one of those jumps where you could just kind of tell that it looks like it's probably really finicky. <laughs> just, just like looking at how the geometry is laid out there and everything. Oh, yeah. la. Um, um, moment, I'm going to do probably the, the last one of the... Uh, <laughs> of Geonosis here coming up. This is actually probably even harder than that because uh, the game has a mechanic where whenever there's like a big shake, uh, rather than like just giving a visual shake, it actually shakes your cursor around. Mm. So uh, you have oh, to do this. Shake right there? Yeah. yeah. It just happens so to be the timing of the level. That. If the timing of the level happens like right when you get to that, that it uh, shakes mm. your screen. I see. So this this uh, thing here is going to have a lot of explanations. So I'm going to go and let Cram explain that while I do it. Yeah. So you'll notice that Utsu just double like the quick save, quick load, which we call double loading the level. And when you do that, it skips a couple of things in this level. The, or it, 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 what it does is it, it, there's a uh, bomb placement that becomes enabled from the start of the level. But the unfortunate thing is that aí nessa fase que ele está, ele vai posicionar umas bombas. Thing that happens when you double load or when you Ou seja, se preparem aí, gente, para mais hora fubaldes aí, clips, so pulos e skips. Uh, we have this trick where you can actually throw all these grenades up here. Uh, we're going to walk forward and there's going to be some droids that will spawn. And because it's a door that's getting blown up, you can actually, like, knock it over with, like, the broken droid, Whoa. battle droid pieces from the grenades. And just like wow. knock the door down. Já simplesmente fazendo yeah, isso já destruiu um inimigo yeah, que yeah, nem precisa subir yeah, ali para fazer yeah, isso. Was just by chance, or... uh, a lot of it was because of Ice Slide and he does magic. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, Ice Slide is like the uh, the glitch hunter for this game. I feel like every community has to have like that one person where you talk about them. Like yeah, they they do all the glitches. Yeah. And uh, all right, we can walk past that door. It's a little bit Sometimes. RNG. I would imagine with physics like that, yeah. Uh, and, yeah and because you they'll land in a way. Go, go ahead, you go ahead. I was just gonna say because of, because of the fact you can't really see the door from below that well. Um, sometimes it kind of looks like from below that it's knocked over, but when you come up here, you can't actually get past it, um, which is a pretty pretty big run killer because you'll continue on the rest of the level assuming that it's good, and then you get there and it's just you can't progress past that point. Is it like a visual thing, or is it just? <laughs> Yeah, it's just you don't have line of sight to the bottom of the door, so. Okay. Yeah, the most important part of it is the bottom, because uh, 
you need to be able to walk through that door. Some of the door is kind of stuck leaning down, but it's still like you can't quite get through it. I, I know I know the game is on easy, but I'm also noticing that your health is really low. Like, I mean, I, I remember playing this casually. It's like a very difficult game. I mean, is, is risk of death like kind of a real possibility in this in this run, even if it's on easy? Uh, yeah, kind of, because as I said before, sometimes enemies, even though like it's on easy, will just have the skills of a god. Yeah. Like sometimes the droids will just be able to laser you down. Sometimes Falou que como ele tá jogando na dificuldade fácil, you... a inteligência artificial dos inimigos é meio <laughs> corrinha, né? Justamente por estar no easy, então, uh, por isso que ele simplesmente ele ignora a os inimigos que simplesmente só vai para onde ele precisa fazer o que tem que fazer e <laughs> simplesmente finaliza a fase. Ah, e, e eles também é, erram a maioria dos tiros, né? Como está na dificuldade fácil. Ele vai tentar fazer mais aí um skip. Pronto. And turns out it was just because there's not a really good damage indicator. So they decided to make the solution be make you invincible to everything but explosions. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, How did you find that out? You got on it. And you got off and you were invincible. No, I mean, like, how did you find out that that was the reason? Oh, uh, I, uh, I did a run once with a, uh, with a dev once, and they told me. That's really cool. Uh, also, you just noticed that was a that was like a boss. That was a spider droid. Isso uh, que ele acabou de enfrentar era um boss. <laughs> ele acabou de falar. You can just focus them down with the laser. Uh, you'll notice my whole squad is dead. Uh, again, that, that doesn't matter. Ele exactly. disse que um, mais uma vez os parceiros dele estão mortos, mas ele disse que não tem problema. Dialogue skip. Porque isso vai ajudar a ele a, a cortar simplesmente <laughs> diálogo no jogo. <laughs> Yeah, 07 is dead, so he can't really say anything. It's great. Uh, he tells us to he tells us to stand back from the entryway, but uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna stand up against it. I'm probably gonna take a, a bit of damage because I'm not immune to explosions, but. Uh, os, o, justamente, né, a uh, o jogo fala né, que é para ele sair dali, que vai eles vão explodir para poder dar o acesso a ele. Só que ele ignorou. Né? E ah, tomou o dano e com isso ele já entrou em outra fase os parceiros dele já estão vivos de novo. Would it be any longer or would you like try to keep your squad alive more? I need to keep I need to kill that super battle droid and that's about it. Yeah, well, we actually it wasn't that long ago that we found out about Opa, the invincibility somehow. Ele tentando fazer like mais um clipe aí para poder escapar. Either kill him or you can you can just go past him and hopefully don't die. Pronto. <laughs> uh, also, going back to that, uh, usually you have to hack something for about 10 seconds there and extends the bridge, but it's way easier just to climb on the console and hop around the invisible Mais wall. Mais um hack the, aí. É. Mais que bicho é um hack. Hackei, coloque bomba, clip, faça hour of bounds. <risos> basicamente, a Ren tá sendo basicamente isso até agora. Ele falou que esse elevador meio que remete ele a, como se fosse o um elevador do Super Metroid. Sim, até que né, parece como se fosse um, um elevador do Super Metroid, olhando por esse ponto de vista. <risos> Sim, parece fácil, uh, uh, olhando like, tudo. W. So, uh, if Prolix has uh, one or two donations, you can do those. Okay, yes, I do have plenty here. Um, one thing I'm noticing, and there's a recurring number in some of these donations, but I don't seem to recall a Delta 104. Uh, here's $15 from Monkey Man, who says, I appreciate Utsu channeling the Assassin's Creed wrist blade two years before it even came out. Also, good luck on the run from the 104 Discord. And, uh, oh one... That's what I was thinking of. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> one more quick Pela one. Pela né, Kazijin? Also from Lady <laughs> Kestrel. Greetings from hey. 104. Hey. May the force be with you, Utsu. Happy Groundhog Day. <laughs> All right. Um, so right here, I'm gonna go and start this uh, bomb hacking from the side, 
which uh, there's a Gene Ocean elite on my right, and because I did that from the side, he's gonna think I'm to the left, <laughs> so he's just not gonna be able to shoot me. That works on some of these. Oh, also, this run is fun. I have to back, I have to back away from that one because that one will actually kill me if I'm standing right up to it. Porque essa parte ele precisa ter uma certa cautela, é, porque tem alguns inimigos que tem um específico que pode matar ele, então ele vai ter que ter cautela. Is this a spaceship? I actually don't know. It is actually. Can I catch you up on the story? This is the core ship. It's like basically just like where they have all of the like droids and like this is where they have like the droid control center, the factory, everything. And what we're doing here is we're one blowing up, and two we are stealing some codes from it. So step one is blow it up. Uh, I'm typing in a code here that's going to blow up the factory that's right in front of me. Uh, also, we're going to meet a friend here. Uh, I'd just like it if uh, everyone could say hi to them. Uh, their name is Leonard. We see them once in the run, so everyone say say hi to Leonard. That's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Leonard. All right, Bye. goodbye, Leonard. Bye, Leonard. That's the only time, we see, <laughs> the only time we see Leonard. Um, so, yeah, that's step one done. Blow up the ship. Step two now, we have to go get the codes. So I have to go find my squad. <laughs> um, oh, wait, let me pull that back out. Um, so, I'm gonna shoot this guy, and I'm gonna hope that doing that didn't wake up the people beside him, and it did, so I'm gonna hope that it only woke up one of them. It looks like it woke up two of them. Uh, yeah, I remember this part being okay. particularly yeah. really, really difficult. Oof. Sometimes you can just ignore the one super battle droid, but I like to kill him because there's a chance that... Uh, ele uh, vai se curar porque ele disse que tem uma chance de acabar morrendo, então por questão de segurança, ele se curou. Yeah, they're with completely full health. Uh, I went ahead and just healed because it wastes like five seconds and it has potential of saving a lot from just not dying. Seems like that would save a lot. Yeah. Um, so here, this is going to be kind of like a choreographed holding of W. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let that fall so that it doesn't, because it scripted the fall after a few seconds. Um, so you can actually shoot it down so that it doesn't actually like fall and kill you. Um, I'm gonna do that again, but on this droidica here, and it's gonna kill him. I'm gonna throw a, a shock charge, which is okay. I'm gonna throw a second one, which is gonna get all of the baseline battle droids. Um, I'm just gonna tell all of them to wait there because I don't need my squad, and it's better for them to not come with me. I'm gonna shoot that now. I'm gonna pull out my anti-armor because there's a super battle droid right on the other side of this door, and I'm gonna want them dead. Dude, sir, are you a wraith bane by any chance? Like an uh, apex? I used to be. Okay, I mean the whole like I don't need my squad. I'm just gonna leave them. Kind of reminded me of that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kill this Geonosian Elite here real quick. Um, one, so he doesn't kill me, and two, if I needed more ammo for my beam weapon, because, say, I had a really unfortunate uh, <laughs> spider droid, or the beam weapon I got spawned with low ammo, then I'd need a new one for here. Because, big surprise, uh, there is a second spider droid. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to. If you uh, if you press E on an enemy, you probably saw me do it with the the last spider droid. It brings up a health bar, uh, but I'm not going to do that with that one because uh, I don't want my squad moving from where they are. And if you tell them to to focus on an enemy, uh, they basically just start moving. So like, why do you always run behind the spider droids? I'm sorry if you explained that and I missed it. Uh, so basically, they have a damage point behind them. Uh, their eye can be damaged for two times damage, but the back of them could be damaged for five times damage. Ele tá falando oh, okay. que okay. So uh, que uh, os droids que ele enfrenta no jogo, uh, né? Oh, yeah, você yeah, enfrentando de, de frente, like, ele toma yeah, duas yeah, vezes yeah, de dano. Yeah, mas yeah, se você yeah, atacar yeah, ele por yeah, trás, yeah, o dano yeah, é cinco yeah, vezes yeah, maior. Yeah, então, yeah, então é mais rápido você atacar eles por trás. Never explained. There's gonna be a droidica right here that I'm gonna use the remainder of my ammo in this to kill. There we go. I feel bad for these people that you're just drive buying with the. I mean, they are just droids, right? So. Yeah. yeah. I've never right, there's gonna be Star two Wars, more droidicas. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. They're they're gone. 
the art style of this game I always thought was uh, was really interesting. This was like kind of the first I feel like Star de arte do no jogo agora o pessoal de lá. Like, really gritty, like this, especially with the like the Geonosian beam weapon, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely had a lot more had, had like a much darker tone than really anything else, especially like the the oil and blood splatters on the screen and everything like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this game because it's it's like Every other game before it was like, like, oh, you're the Jedi, you're the hero of the story, and then this one's just like, eh, you're a clone. You're a better clone, <laughs> but you're a clone. Pessoal, é, é, estou yeah, discutindo yeah, assim. Yeah. Ah, nossa, então, né, nesse jogo você deve ser um Jedi. É, é até engraçado nessa situação. Né? Ah, você deve ser um Jedi, é, então é o herói do jogo. Não, você é apenas um clone. Simples assim. Acaba até sendo. Né, 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 que, uh, geralmente em jogos de Star Wars, né, uh, você, geralmente a maioria deles vai jogar com Jedi uma vez ou outra, você joga do lado do City. Né? <risos> Mas esse aqui. Né, não, você é um clone, só isso e acabou. <risos> Yeah. Uh, don't don't mind my squad dying behind me, okay? It's like that scene from Spider-Man where where uh, Stan Lee is a librarian and there's the action going behind him, okay? He's got your, he's got headphones on. I was gonna say which which Spider-Man? The the amazing one, the amazing Spider-Man. I said Spider-Man's always amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. He like swings from webs he, and stuff. That's amazing. He is pretty cool. Uh, don't mind 07 being dead, by the way. Uh, we're gonna leave, but we're we're gonna find him later. Uh, six two two. He's he's dead, but that's okay. All right, we got the codes. We're leaving now. Don't again. Don't worry that they're dead. We'll 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 get them later. Okay, so this is just trading the lives of your squad so you can hold down. Mais uma vez o Brian avisando aí. Não se preocupe aí com os companheiros mortos. Eles sempre vão estar voltando. Ai ai. Usually six. Yeah, usually six. Oh yeah, you'll usually try to. You'll usually see me uh, try to keep my squad above orange health because uh, uh, yellow and up they move at normal speed, but orange they start limping and they actually move slower. Mm. Um, you're you're fine. You're 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 a big tough commando. You you don't limp, but your squad is uh they, they need a little bit of help. Sim, é, lembra muito Metroid Prime, a jogabilidade, assim, mas não é Metroid Prime, é Star Wars. I'm gonna quick save during there, and then we're gonna quick load. And now I can look around during this cutscene. That is usually just me looking forward as I'm slowly uh, oh, hovered this forward. Mission. Wait, can you move during this? Can you like run up in uh, space? I can, but I'll fall. No. Oh. There is a floor to land on, but uh, then I won't be. Oh, to look, to I so you walk on the game of golf, my God. Second, because you can land a little early. <laughs> Eu nem sonhei com os jogos de ontem. Eu nem acabei sonhando com os jogos de ontem. Isso aqui é a parte mais zoada de tudo. <risos> Mas se você sonha com aquele golfe, ai meu Deus. <risos> é ruim, hein? Especialmente <risos> A bola de golfe atacada, o peixe de pernas aí andando para lá e para cá. Sim, aquele jogo foi realmente muito aleatório, Teclas, concordo.
Thanks, Kadio. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Clone Trooper 1, he's the first one. Hello. Sim, sim, Talion, exatamente. Teve muito jogo aleatório de terror ontem. Pelo menos o que tivemos na madrugada de hoje? Tivemos o Dead Space, tivemos Little Nightmare 2, né? Resident Evil 7, né? de, de jogos de terror. Sim, teve Dead Space e, e Resident Evil 7, mas não se preocupe, Hanachan, que uh, o VOD vai estar disponível uh, para você estar assistindo da, da RAM e também uh, na Speedruns Brasil disponibiliza os vídeos depois no YouTube também, então... É, tem como você assistir depois, mesmo de, é, tendo perdido o, o jogo que você queria assistir no evento. Exatamente como a Luna acabou de falar, todos, uh, é, né, o Vod né, terá todos os destaques feitos, né? É, com as runs, assim, você poderá chegar no ponto certo que você quer assistir. Né? Sem nenhum problema. Sim, Star Wars não é um jogo de terror, mas né? tem bastante clipe como penumbra. Você pode mudar o começo para o final de um load screen. Então eu só como... I just kind of scooted forward at the end of that load screen. Save a little bit of time. Utsu, huh? if that clone was number one, wouldn't that make him Smitty Warbin Jaegerman Jensen? Oh my god. <laughs> he was, he number, was number one! one. Right? He was! <laughs> it was his hat! It was his hat 38! He was number one! Uh, here's just gonna be a, a W hold section from the. This is gonna be the most intense uh, chase sequence ever. You're gonna have some dudes on the right here, they're gonna burst out. Uh, we've got great value R2 here. O Stormtrooper ele caído durinho no chão ali. Tava... A posição que ele tava caído era muito bizarro. Meu Deus. These enemies are tough. Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of come out of nowhere and you're just kind of like. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Sim, Penumbra é muito Daiane dos Santos, verdade. Muito UB, muito UB. Aqui ele tá fazendo o. Ele faz Order of, uh, order of Balls, ele faz clip, é, faz alguns skips, mas <risos> não é igual o Penumbra, né? Que é toda hora você vê essas coisas, né? Tem um pouco de gameplay aí, assim, é praticamente o que ele tá fazendo aí na RAM. Crouch and uncrouch through it, you can kind of move a little bit faster and not set it off. That's cute. That's the only time you see us do that, though. Most of the time we just walk through them. Uneasy, um, there is. So, yeah. Going back to the horror element of this, uh, this section here, I'm going to quick save and quick load. É, utilizar agora o quick save e quick load mais uma vez para poder fazer um skip. Anomalous. This is really eerie, uh, okay. especially without the music here. Okay, now this is dead. Like you're, this is you're doing a dead space right now. Like the, I'm <laughs> yeah. being pranked. I'm gonna get yeah. jump scared yeah. here. The, the, for the funny thing is, normally the lo that level has like a whole bunch of clone troopers fighting each other, and there's like a big battle going on. Because I remember that dead space. <laughs> here we go. Right, this so, gun. Uh, this gun is so sick. Yeah. This is the best gun in the game. And what is the gun? Arma it's, do a, jogo. Uh, it's a melee weapon. Oh, it does have a good melee. It has the fastest melee in the game, which uh, we will elaborate more on. And it's also a, just a decent gun. This is a well-done shotgun. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's a very, did, did, very fun to use. Did uh, either of y'all play the multiplayer for this? Like, yeah. back in the day at all? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good memories with that. There actually is a, uh, you can install a mod that, uh, lets you go on, like, custom servers and stuff, so you actually can still play the, uh, the multiplayer. That's pretty cool. Is it active? Like, I mean... Uh, yeah, there's, there's still people. There's a whole Discord for it. Dang. That's pretty cool. I used to only use, a. Uh, uh, hello. I mean, for like, <laughs> so, <laughs> since this whole game is like squad based, like, I is, there, you. is there like a commander for multiplayer in a squad? Uh, no, it was primarily PvP. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it was It was basically like, it was kind of like Halo. Yeah. Okay. Very, very, very traditional first person shooter multiplayer, but it was still very good. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just wondering if like, you know, one person could pick this. Like, cool Halo. Stuff. <laughs> that would have been cool. We've, stuff. That would have been cool. Yeah. We tried to get co-op working by like going through like custom games and stuff, and having them like load the campaign maps. But if the the game's like code is so reliant on it actually like being in single player for the maps to work, that like if anybody that uh tries to do anything that's not the host player, the game will just like crash for them. Mm. Um, Precisa colocar para poder fazer a progressão. I tried to like make it work a little bit, a little bit ago, but it just wasn't working, so I just kind of gave up. Would have been cool if you ever get that working. Oh, yeah. Maybe, uh, this game would be great. I, uh, yeah, it would. Oh yeah, it'd be so fast. Where is the main character keeping all of these explosive charges? He is. Okay. Uh, it's, it's elaborating the same on something I did back there. Hmm. Uh, I threw a, a flashbang and it made the turret blind. Uh, that doesn't work on a. It doesn't work Did on. Did you remember double load droids, level here? It works on turrets. Did you double load this level? I think so. Okay. I'll do it again just to make sure. I didn't see the loading screen twice. So see? Just wanted to make sure. It's pretty important to do it here, was... otherwise there's. Yeah. Good looking yeah. out, dude. I got you. I was you. a little slow on it, so I wasn't entirely for sure certain. Could, you, could it be safe uh, to like shoot. double load every level or you you can uh, it doesn't really you can do it on every level it just doesn't do anything on a lot of levels it's only certain levels that it actually has some effect okay it just depends on how the levels were scripted sim sim é é realmente é dá uma sensação sim um i i keep talking when i think it's all clear oh you're um, good so uh what I tried to do there with that flashbang there was uh, if you flashbang that Trandoshan before he goes through that door, it'll actually stay open so you won't need to like blow it open. I'm gonna go and grab these here. And uh, yeah, I'm just walking through these mines. They're actually very inconsequential. <laughs> and there's a scavenger droid right here. I missed. <laughs> Oh, that's right, they get on your head and stuff and try this and drill you. This is a jump scare. Dude, you look like a guy in the face. something else. <laughs> Oh yeah, so y'all ever played Team Fortress 2? No. I, I've dabbled. Maybe? Yeah. Uh, uh, on the left here, we have my favorite class, the Heavy Weapons Wizard. He needs to put it in the local. Uh, he, uh, he's a big wizard and he has a minigun. And he does a lot and, of damage. Uh, now, now we run away. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Wait, you don't fight him? No, uh, we did the quick save quick load. Uh, and that, um, um droid. <laughs> that loads the, the bomb trigger early, so we don't actually have to fight him, because he's a very hard fight. And if we don't have to fight him, then that's good. Yeah, they, they do a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't hit the trigger, whoops. I thought I got far enough in. There we go. Here, here's so the, uh, uh, shotgun, here's where the shotgun really shines, is melee. We talked yeah. about being able to cancel animations with reload uh one of the animations you can cancel is the cooldown on your melee attack which allows you to do this oh man okay and y'all these what? things these things casually are such a pain the droid dispensers they literally are just infinite enemy spawners until you can you're able to disable them so that is that's a great strat that's excellent yeah, we don't even really need to do that one since, but we're waiting on forty anyway to totally hack this door. Very much so. Hacking. 
Wait, so that was yeah, just like messing around. Com isso, like, ele não precisa mais matar so nenhum inimigo, like, né? Porque ele tinha que matar inimigos até a porta ser aberta, mas... Com isso, ele já evitou boa parte da luta. They also have like a health bar, and you can just beat them to death with your shotgun. Yeah, the bomb just yeah, happens okay, to sure. do as much damage. <laughs> what, what, what's the input um, sequence for that reload cancel? It's just reload. They're melee reload. Reload. Yeah, you just kind of uh, melee reload. Yeah, you just kind of have a certain certain uh, rhythm to it. That's, Sim, é. Cool. <laughs> Lembra bastante Half Life também. Have two sets of binds for <laughs> melee reload. I have my mouse buttons for just playing. Um, and then for spamming, I have V and B. Oh, that makes sense. So you just put the little bit. Yep. Yeah. So we have almost two uh, hits. Got another uh, uh, turret here for invisibility. I don't really need it, but yeah, this one cuts off my arms though. So. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I don't get yeah. arms for this one. Really playing into the horror theme here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Telling you. Um, it's okay. I can summon them back. Okay, guess we're good. This guy's enjoying a nice food and we oh, just bruh. <laughs> Poor guy. He's, he's, having, vai viver on he's, he's having his lunch. Os camaradas so mortos, so que o so inimigo so atacou ele. <laughs> and weapon busts him in the face. Uh, oh, here's another happy weapon. Uh, whack. It doesn't even look like you're hitting him that <laughs> Isso, hard. Isso, vários inimigos aí. Já passou pra próxima área. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little, little no caso, fase. Tap on the face and down the go. Okay, uh, ele so I don't need to kill these guys, chama, but, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do to keep them from shooting me in the butt. Yeah, this shotgun is just like the best gun in the game. It's so good. I'm a little low on health, so I'm gonna poke this real quick. I'm not gonna get a lot of health, just gonna get the yellow. Aqui. Bom, é simples, a pessoa fica tão focada no jogo, ou, né, e acaba ficando com esse tipo de olhar de, devido ao foco no jogo. É, tá, eu... Acontece. Eu não duvido que eu deva fazer a mesma cara, já que eu faço speedrun também. It's not it's tech. It's so, so it's a little complicated. It's not technically a clip. You're not actually going through any geometry. It's just th doing that. It's a way you can actually kind of step up a ledge that's a little bit too high to step up of, and get on top of while also crouching. Um, huh. Yeah, that's like that's it, really cool that that got like figured out. You know, that's that just seems like yeah. such a wild thing to like test. Yeah. Uh, geralmente a maioria fica com uma cara séria mesmo, ou com essa expressão. É... <risos> com essa expressão. O ponto tá correndo. Não me deixem que os super valores se spawn, por favor. Eu vou te dar lá. Ok. Eu vou te dar isso, e eu vou te dar isso aqui. Eu vou te dar isso and trying to get my squad to hold close while killing all these guys. Yeah, this is a pretty difficult uh, level to op optimize just because your squad likes to fight people and there's a lot of enemies here. Sim, um, nem parecia que ela respirava. Exatamente. Mm -hmm. É que ela também tava com cachecol no pescoço também. Kind of tricky. Why do we need the squad for this level specifically? Uh, there is an area at the end of it where it's good to have everyone with you because they will help you clear the room a lot faster than you can by yourself. So they will actually like, kill targets that are not just Yeah, yeah. Okay, they gotcha. actually have pretty good AI, like, especially on easy. Um, I do remember that, actually. Yeah, now that, you, now that you mention it, yeah. They're not so busted that, like, you find yourself just, like, being like, well, why do I need to do anything? I have my squad. Get some back but they're also... Too. They're also not like so dumb that you're like, why are they even here? Yeah, it's it's pretty well like, balanced. Do they like do different things, or, or are they all just kind of the same? They were originally meant to be, but uh, back when this game was getting made, a gente que contratar bots, meu Deus do céu, tá? Yeah, they got like a they got like a a studio lead, uh, like they got like a new like CEO or something basically. 
uh, and he basically was just like took every project and was just like cancel them all, get them out of here. And they're just like, we're like almost done yeah. with this one. Can we just like <laughs> finish it? And he's like, é tudo tá a cara do do Verne é um chata peixe. I think it's dumb, but if you think it'll be good. <laughs> Olha a teoria aí do gelinho, o Talion. O que você acha da teoria do gelinho? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, all, yeah, they have different voice voice actors to give yeah. them a little different force personality, but their AI is the same. Okay. Sim, é verdade. O cara teve, pegou o WR e foi muito bizarra a reação dele. Foi muito bizarra a reação dele. Where usually you'd be frozen in place listening to the advisor. Eu quando eu peguei WR no Lamborghini, eu gritei pra caramba. Tomei até bronca ao vivo na minha live. Minha mãe. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to kind of be punching these guys as I go through. Uh, I've been using the shotgun primarily for a lot of this level for two reasons. One, because it's just a it's just a good gun. Uh, two, uh, I need to conserve my ammo and my other guns as much as I can because there's very little until later on. Que jogo! Nossa, eu esqueci. Deu um branco aqui também. Mas teve o W. Ah, o joguinho de música. Foi o, o Vectronon. No, tivemos WR no Vectronon. E o Runner. Nem tchum. O Runner. Runner que fez o WR ficou nem deu nem tchum. So a lot of this section of the game is just ammo management, squad management, combat, uh, that sort of thing. Just optimizing that is where you get the time saves here. And then the... Sim, ainda fez os bônus levels numa boa. Sim, verdade. Foi, foi muito engraçada a reação dele. Ele simplesmente não reagiu. <laughs> o, o runner. I'm gonna just kind of ignore this. I'm gonna put uh, someone on there for... Oh, hi. Hello. Someone there for uh, <laughs> coming up here, and I'm gonna be walking all the way here because there's a rocket turret at the end of this uh, area that I need oh, to I get someone on. Tem, sim. Se, é, se você oh, não viu o Vectronon, recomendo você ver o VOD, porque você vai ver o, o quanto o jogo é, é difícil. Né? Porque requer você ter memória e ainda acompanhar o ritmo da música para poder completar o jogo. Is that one of the turrets that could make you invincible? Like, would it have been helpful to get on that, or does it just not matter? <laughs> no, not, that that one didn't matter because that's not one of the ones that they had issues with. It was specifically that like sitting down kind. <laughs> okay. Enquanto isso, discussão de JPG, PNG. Ai meu Deus. É o que dá a ter povos e jogar com não humanos. Meu Deus do céu. Ô louco, meu. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so yeah. Usually I'd place that myself, but I kind of in the moment forgot where all the health stations were. <laughs> this is the ah, worst level. O nome da fase é a Ilha da República. Oh yeah, this is the 100% worst level in the whole game. Why is that? 
Yeah. Uh, just enemies or jerks. Uh, squads, a bunch of babies. <laughs> Uh, there's like 30 scavenger droids this whole section. Uh, diz que essa parte aí é, tem vários, uh, justamente esse tipo de robô, que ele, 30 deles que ele vai ter que enfrentar aí para poder progredir. So you notice I can walk through that mine there also, and I'm just fine. Uh, where is this guy? Where is he? Oh, Achou. Nice. <laughs> this level is very gray, so it all kind of blends together. Yeah. yeah. Um, are they with me? There yeah, they are. Why kind are they of? crouching? <laughs> doesn't really feel like they're making that much of an effort to stop you from escaping. Like, yeah, they're, you know, standing in front of you, but they're also just moving out of your way. Yeah. So, I mentioned that, uh, that mine back there, uh, which, uh, didn't do too much damage. Sim, sim, um PNG, sim. É uma imagem com fundo transparente, exatamente. Me blown up more than any other can just demolish you, like, I'm gonna make a quick save just in case, but it might kill me. Uh, yeah, I'm on one HP. Wow. Nossa, ele tomou uma morte, infelizmente. So Teve que voltar. But I also have to fight off all these guys. Agora ele vai encher a vida? Depois do que aconteceu. Turret right here. But because of this mine, they oh. won't actually get into it. <laughs> yeah, it does so much so damage. Scary. Nossa, agora ele precisa oh, encher God. a vida dele. <laughs> This, this is on easy. Yeah, ele... is there like a way to, like, Meu Deus, ele não encheu a vida. Like, é arriscado. Like, so e é irônico que ele tá na dificuldade fácil. A dificuldade fácil está passando por sufoco. Ok. So yeah, so you need someone on that other turret, otherwise you can't do that. Anyways, I'm gonna heal back all of that, that health I took. Something I like about the health, one thing, they, there's a whole lot of different oh, models that's back to healers. Like, that's like one they keep using. Um, they actually made like five or six. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the art design in this game is really cool, especially the design of all the Trandoshan weapons, especially that turret too. I was just watching that like, man, this just looks neat. Watching all the moving oh, yeah. parts go together. Now this, this level here, this is actually my absolute favorite level. But because... I... A próxima fase que vai entrar é a fase, uma das fases favoritas aí do Werner. Live action Rude Goldberg machine, where just like one thing leads to another, leads to another. It's just so fun to watch happen. It's incredibly optimized and you don't really do anything and everything just kind of happens in front of you. Yeah. Um, so. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna run run everybody through this as I go. So, step one is we get a bomb on one of these barrels. Step two, we put 40 there on the grenades and 07 on the sniping. And then I put the remaining person over here by the shield regulator. And then we just kinda come on over here and we wait for that thing right there to get over here. <laughs> uh, so uh, if we, we, we have time for donations, basically, to say. Right on. Here is a $25 donation from Game Swag with two S's. Hey, Utsu, greetings. Tem que esperar chegar uh, justamente um dessas uh, espécies de nave chegar a um certo fim. Então, há um momento de espera aí. Então, com isso. <risos> é, com isso, é, eles simplesmente estão aproveitando para falar sobre as doações. Eu acho que eu take Leonard. I take him here because it's my favorite level. Um, so let's see if this worked here. Yep, Leonard. there we go. Wow. So, so yeah. So what I did there was there was a proximity bomb over there, and I'm just remembering now I didn't pick up the ammo in this room, so I'll get that while I'm t talking. Uh, there was a proximity bomb on the barrels here, so basically the droid set down, got out, and set that off. Neat. Sure. That seems. Basicamente é na base da esfera. 
E como ele setou já as bombas, já no local certo, então na hora que ele desce e os robôs começam a sair, ele simplesmente ativa a bomba e pronto. E pronto, ele já passou pelo hangar ali, tinha que proteger o hangar. E Sim, sim. Sim, verdade, Gelinho. I'm gonna walk to the end. You ever see me holding my pistol? It's just because I like the pistol. I like the Próxima fase, hold the line. Nope. You do, oh, you do in the multiplayer, but you don't in the campaign. Yeah. Hang on, this is the hardest boss. I want to... Good okay. job, nice one. Okay, I like that's him. a. He was right. That's like a war crime. He did. He was fleeing. Don't worry about it, okay? He he called he called his butt face. Well, war crime he accusations. He was, he was just GDQ. leaving. He was just like, I choose not to be here, and you're like, no, I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head. He's injured, yeah, running in for help. I shot him in the butt. Don't worry about it. Okay, well. Sim, deveria, sim. Concordo, Gelinho. Pra dar uma imersão boa, sim. Seria muito interessante. Concordo. Porque, geralmente, a maioria dos jogos de Star Wars sempre vai ter, vai sempre ter um foco nos Jedi, né? É, são poucos que e, tem foco justamente do lado dos vilões. Né, que são six. And I would say what, what folks got to remember as well is that this game came out in 2005, which was, you know, one year after Halo 2, very much the peak. Sim, exatamente. O Force Unleashed é justamente você é um sítio. Oh, yeah. I've seen, like, memes of, like, Master Chief with Delta Squad. O pessoal tá fazendo comparação com Halo agora. Mais uma vez aí, falando... E é como se fosse o seu personagem, é como se fosse o Master Chief, já que você manda no, na sua equipe, tudo, ele não controla. Seria uma combinação inestável. Honestamente, sim. John Halo e John Delta 36. 38, desculpe. Então, eu vou ir e dizer para esses caras para estar lá, eu vou começar a hackar isso. E isso vai trazer um... o que o advisor refere como ordenance, mas... Sim, exatamente, Julinho, concordo. Which, uh, if you're, you're familiar, if you, if you're familiar with, uh, what a walker is, uh, well, if you're unfamiliar with what a walker is, uh, it's a, it's a really big tank with legs. Sim, seria muito interessante. So, uh, while we wait for that to come on up, uh, if we have, say, two donations? Okay, uh, so I will spend one donation's time just to let you all know that we are less than $5,000 away from Thank half you. a million dollars raised. Now, I'm no scientist or whatever it is, but I think that means we're like 99% of the way there. So, uh, awesome job there. That uh, We're doing really well. Okay. Can we hit it? Can we hit it by the time the run's over? Let's hit 500k before the run's done. Like, for I sure. I can. I believe in this chat. 100%. Let's do that. There's still plenty of time, so. And uh, I'll just give you one comment here. It's from Dark Saber saying, "Staying up late to catch a bit of my pal Utsu's run. Just wanted to say good luck, and I know you'll do great. Uh, thank you for the twenty-five dollars there." So, uh, to kind of Falando explain why we, uh, we're using this <laughs> instead of just placing a bomb like we have been, uh, this place is actually really hard, and even like in game. Agora, uh, ele disse que like, agora justamente a é, agora, é, é, esse lugar que ele está é um, um lugar difícil, então ele não pode cometer muitos erros aí. Principalmente quando você está numa parte é, considerada complicada do jogo.
E oh, uma fase, ironicamente, tem o nome de um jogo que eu dei, Dio X, né? Baixinho. Sim, exatamente, é, Gilinho, concordo. Poderia, eles poderiam ter feito dessa forma. Não to mean, but yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I remember Super Battle uh, I got this on I got this on PC like a couple years ago and I was like I'm a much better gamer now. I'll, I'll I'm going to play this on PC and I'm going to have a much better time with it and I did not. In fact, I don't think I ended up completing it because of uh, a certain segment on Kashyyyk with a bridge. Tantos and, like, clipes assim é mais ele tá fazendo mais, né, simplesmente mate os inimigos, né, de forma mais rápida para completar o objetivo e finalizar a fase, né? Agora ele precisa matar todos esses robôs aí, todos os inimigos praticamente. É obrigatório ele matar todos aqui, ele acabou de falar. Se ele falou que agora, nesse momento, três minutos fazendo uma, é, justamente essa, esse negócio. No caso, três minutos. Então, momento aí, gente, de paciência aí. <risos> It's a great combination, E and donations. I, I hadn't put it together before, but yeah, this it, it just feels right. This is great. Okay, uh, here's $100 from Zero Bake, who says, Vote on, my brothers. Just wanted to donate during one of my favorite games of my childhood. Thanks going out to all the stream tech and reps from MSF for getting this event off the ground again this year. E, e isso daí leva um minuto, então ele tem que fazer em três, justamente três vezes, para poder... Meu Deus, que paciência, você tem que segurar o botão E por tanto tempo só para poder fazer um comandinho. Uh, Michael donated $100 and said, thank you for destroying one of my favorite games growing up. That's uh, just the letter M. Thank you for the generosity. Donating for my favorite Star Wars game of all time. So glad to finally see it at GDQ. Good luck to Utsu and thank you to all the staff who make this event so amazing terrible. year after year. Good taste. Yep, and there it goes, just falling apart. Also, you can see that all the joys just kind of fell over because that blew up. That's the assault ship. Yeah, that is the assault ship. My favorite just section of the game. And now we are moving on to Kashyyyk, which, uh, well, it's it's real fun. It's real fun. You'll see. Uh, we probably have time for two more donations. Okay, uh, here is one from Anonymous, uh, helping out one of our open incentives right now, uh, the uh, Dullahan fight uh, for the Golden Sun run. $300, uh, thanks so much for that, and the comment just says, for Golden Sun Dullahan. And also, uh, speaking of our, our open uh, incentives right now, Anonymous Vão... donating to our ah, bonus, our next bonus game. <risos> Acho que é assim que se pronuncia. Próxima localidade para resolver os problemas aí da guerra dos clones. That's good. Yeah, that one's gonna be All sick. Right. Yeah, so we're on Kashyyyk here, so uh, these guys here have a have a shotgun, so I'm just gonna throw that nade, grab it, and okay, we're invincible now, we're powerful. Not actually invincible, there's no turret. Uh, but we might as well be. Uh, I'm gonna be watching Delta Squad here because there's a chance they'll. Yep, Fixer got stuck there. Ele teve que dar um load, infelizmente, porque ele disse que pode acontecer de, infelizmente, de um deles ali é, simplesmente travar. Então ele vai tentar voltar em um save anterior. That was time. 
because they need to walk all the way. So now, look, they're unstuck now. Yay! Whoa, Woo. safety strats, let's go! Brief update, right, so, $498,000. We are closing Ooh. in! Precisa do, de todos eles é, se movimentando para poder fazer a progressão, então, como um travou, então, é por isso que ele teve que usar o backup de emergência aí, no save de backup. Senão a run teria morrido justamente ali. Right. Oh, yeah, I love the way that 40 just kind of looks at you here. <laughs> I don't know why. He's, he's just kind of giving you a... I cannot believe this is happening to us. <laughs> he's just got so much sass through his helmet. Even the real... Hmm. 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 Alright, so, uh... <laughs> we're coming up on a section up here where, uh... We're gonna basically skip a whole level just by walking over top of it. Okay. Um, so you saw in Geonosis uh, that we uh, we skipped some zip lines uh, by holding walk. Mas o Ward já no início? What? For some reason. Então um, como apenas então é aí que tá, Gelinho. É Depende, porque, por exemplo, se o jogo tem um, um, um problema conhecido pela comunidade de speedrun, é, se o jogo tem um problema conhecido pela comunidade de speedrun que pode acontecer esse tipo de problema, é, se você tiver um save de backup, é permitido que você utilize esse save. Mas a maioria das vans geralmente... Né, é, Normally, like, when it comes to speedruns, I'm como, not né, por padrão, a geralmente, like, você teria que resetar e começar de novo. Mas como tem jogos que, infelizmente, coisas acontecem, né, algumas exceções podem acontecer. Né, principalmente quando se trata de soft lock, né, quando você entra em, por exemplo, se você vai executar um glitch e entra em soft lock. Então, se o jogo tem a possibilidade de você salvar e carregar o save anterior, Uh, basicamente, so, uh, né, uh, do, do ponto anterior do soft lock, do, do bug, do glitch I, uh, que pode te causar really problemas, né, não, não, a run não vai ser desconsiderada, né, porque você está usando um save dentro do próprio jogo. Agora, por exemplo, se você, por exemplo, carregar um save state, aí sim seria errado. <risos> sim, é, tanto faz, está na dificuldade easy é, esse jogo aqui que o Ren está fazendo. Só que como no caso aqui é um evento apenas, uma, uma, é um evento, então uh, não, né, não dá nenhum problema você utilizar o, justamente um save de backup, né, porque como você está no evento, né, e você não pode né, tem que ter save de backup para justamente você não dar problemas. So, so, né? Não dá problema para justamente não atrapalhar a agenda. Então, a, o uso de, de save é permitido né? no, em eventos. Mas, em, geralmente, a maioria das runs não é permitido. Mas, como eu disse, né? são poucos os jogos que possuem uh, esse, esse tipo de exceção. Sim, ele está usando o save, então, ele está utilizando o save. Sim, ele utilizou o save, é... sim, ele pode, em uma speedrun, ele que usar o save da própria run, né, exatamente, para poder né, voltar ao ponto anterior e tentar executar de novo. Mas, no caso do evento, em eventos, aí, eles têm saves, né, a outros tipos de saves à parte, né, de, por exemplo, é, eles gravam, né, jogam o um jogo, gravam vários pontos, né, caso aconteça algum problema, e tem como eles continuarem lá né, durante um evento. Então, eles deixam já vários saves setados, né, para caso alguma coisa aconteça em um evento. Mas em um speedrun, não, geralmente você tem que usar o seu save. Né? Então, 
walk through these like trenches. Então, na GDQ, geralmente não é permitido, né, o pessoal da GDQ, geralmente, né, no evento presencial eles não permitem o uso de emuladores, né? Tipo, você teria que é, teria que usar o console oficial. Mas como está sendo um evento online, então eu acho que eles devem ter né, feito algumas exceções, sim, para é, as runs. Porque geralmente eles, eles, eles têm, a gente que eles têm várias regras para você poder fazer uma apresentação no evento. A pretty, uh, tricky out of bounds. E ele agora um out of bounds. I have a safety save in case I can't get this. Ele hit them with that. Vai fazer de forma segura e pronto. Good job. So I'm just kind of blindly walking to this foliage here. Tá, é, oficialmente aí, gente, fora do mapa. Ele tá simplesmente andando as cegas e pronto. Really visually flashy, but you can tell just by looking at it. Like, I bet you have to practice that a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and that skips like a whole section of where like you need to do a do a hack and then like lure some guys through a minefield and stuff and then walk over here. Uh, now I'm gonna do another one of those uh, quick save quick loads. Ele vai skip mais line. uma vez, mais um skip and agora só que não é uma hora de fazer. Ele vai usar o quick save quick load do jogo para skip fazer um skip. E meu Deus do céu, ele olha por onde que ele está andando. All the way up here. Hoping that I don't slip off because it's very easy to slip off. E ele precisa ter muito cuidado, como você pode ver, um erro, ele pode cair pra, simplesmente para fora, literalmente para fora do mapa e dar muito errado. Então, uff, ainda bem que ele conseguiu passar. Wait, it has like physics? That's really yeah. cool. That, that's, is that like an intentional solve for that or is that just something y'all no. figured out? No, I'm doing the actual intentional one right here. What you're oh. supposed to do is just hack this, and then it'll oh. swing that on over. That's really cool. That's wild. This is what, oh. 2005? 2005. That they had that? I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, games like Half-Life 2 came out in this era too, so... Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've, I've never seen Half-Life 2. Mais um clip aí, como vocês estão vendo, ele simplesmente vai entrar na nave. No, I've actually never played Half-Life. Pronto. as doações aí. Let's go. Oh, it's so I would great. clap, but I'm holding W. Uh, okay, I'll clap. I'll clap for you. I'll thank you. <laughs> and I, now um, you can clap. You're good. Uh, uh, so, uh, sorry, donations. Uh, let me know. Let me know when to stop here. Uh, uh, Brian Otto, Anonymous has your back. We have a $1,500 donation from Anonymous. Sim, exatamente, Casijin. Sim, porque tem muito jogo que não ganhamos, que pode... Não muito jogo, mas né, tem jogo que... Se você não sofre problema com soft lock, tem jogo que naturalmente já vem quebrado por natureza, então, às vezes, né, a... Save de backup é permitido, né? Quando, né, dependendo da situação, né, um save de backup é, ah, acaba sendo é permitido, né, dependendo do jogo. <risos> Mas, como eu disse, são né, poucas as exceções, poucos jogos que, que têm algumas coisas assim. So we don't have a shotgun anymore, so the best thing to replace that is a rocket launcher. Shotgun and then we're going to be having another one of those heavy weapons lizards here. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna throw that's a rocket launcher. Bang. And then fire off. Ah, uh, that thing and is so cool. So I actually have to, uh, 
have to lift it up after I do the full charge. Otherwise, the rockets will, the bottom rockets will hit the floor and kill me. Wait, are what are did Disney own like? Star Wars when this game came out? No, 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 no. Why are there Mickey Mouse ears on the bombs then? <laughs> <laughs> Amy, <laughs> what? <laughs> Só fez com Mickey Mouse, né? Pelo fato da Disney. <risos> Agora é a, né, a dona, né? Dos direitos de Star Wars. Vou ir aqui, vou ir aqui. Eles basicamente só fizeram uma bridge para ir aqui. Espera, é isso a bridge que eu estava complainando? Não, não, não. Eu ia dizer, isso não é para o final da sequência. Skip aí, andando por fora? Não é quase, mas estamos na sequência de missão que leva até isso. Certo, certo. Há um nível ou dois antes disso. I think it's actually after the next level. E ele já vai indo para a próxima. E ele morreu. That guy just hit all of his shots. No, you're not. So yeah, yeah. I I told you that sometimes they just do immense damage. E agora ele vai para a próxima fase. Desvio. Deus do céu, ele não estava nem esperando a morte. So yeah, you can. Mas aconteceu, né? It does happen. You 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 can die on easy. It's happened twice. Technically three times if you count the intentional death from the beginning. Uh, anyway, so our rocket launcher is out of ammo, so of course we're going to get another shotgun. Then I'm going to jump into this corner, which is going to clip me up there. And I'm going to quick save here because these quick guys save? can actually demolish me. Like that. Conseguiu. Nossa. Meu Deus, ele passou por faltando um hit. Don't want to go with that little help. If I can help okay. it. Uh, ele decidiu me. voltar. Like Pronto. <laughs> Meu Deus do céu. Mas foi muito engraçado ele passar. Faltando um tracinho apenas para morrer. Um tracinho. Foi por muito poucos, né? Mas como ele tinha dado o quick save, então isso permitiu que ele conseguisse passar de novo um, um pouco mais de vida. Ele precisa encher a venda aqui urgentemente. Vamos falar nisso. Um burner. Tell my squad to get on here. Where did he come from? Oh. Yeah, these battle droids that keep spawning and refilling up the turret there. I'm gonna tell someone to get on there. I'm gonna beat the heck out of this. I'm stealing this. <laughs> Feel free. Ele já destruiu uma das máquinas utilizando essa técnica. Ele vai fazer de novo. So it's just gonna. I don't know why he's focusing more on fighting the battle super battle droid than. This, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. So we just have to uh, clear out the enemies here. Yeah, there we go. This is probably my second favorite uh, dialogue exchange in the entire game. Uh, so you'll notice it's me who's who's packing this charge. I'm the one who's uh, setting this bomb. <laughs> He's like, all right. Who was that that put that there? That was not me. Meu Deus do céu, fala do jogo, filho. Eu só não esperava não. Wasn't me. I know that for sure. I didn't mean to shoot that, but luckily we've got a thing of ammo. So we're gonna be waiting on this 30 second thing here. So I don't. I'm tired of holding E. So I'm gonna have him hold E. Hold E just for me. I'll put. I'll put another one in chat. Just for him too. Yeah. Just so kidding, like, he's a, that's not actually when you hack. Oh. Dang, oh. Take out. I was gonna say, so like most of the time you, you don't have them hold E just because they're like... Next so spider droid? Right? Or like... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, Uh, ele disse que o ataque desse robô carregado, mesmo não na dificuldade fácil, mata ele. Enemies are a bit more pathetic. Yo, 104 ammo. They know. So easily the game wants you to use a rocket launcher here, but I'm just going to use anti. Yeah, on easy the enemy AI isn't different. It's just you have a lot less health. Or a lot more health compared to hard. So hard, you have a lot more health. That's interesting. I mean, I guess it's amazing. Próximo jogo será o Cororimpa, Marble Mania. É, ele é um jogo de Nintendo Wii. 
ah, tanto faz, é um jogo muito interessante. Você precisa utilizar o controle do Wii para mexer justamente a... Sabe aqueles joguinhos... Ah, não sei se... É um brinquedo antigo que eu brincava quando era criança. Não sei se você vai saber do que eu devo estar especificando. Que tinha uma bolinha de metal dentro de uma espécie de labirinto. E você tinha que guiar a bolinha de labirinto até o ponto final. Então, o jogo é basicamente, basicamente isso. né? Você tem que guiar justamente uma dessas bolinhas aí. Utilizando o controle do Wii até o, ao ponto final do mapa. Basicamente. É um jogo bem muito interessante. Esse que vai ser o próximo jogo, basicamente. Né? Você vai andar por vários mapas e tem que guiar a bolinha é, por esses mapas aí. Né? E cada mapa é bem diferente né? um do outro, então é bem fácil você acabar deixando a bolinha para fora do mapa. Sim, exatamente, Gelinho. <risos> Já passou dos 30 também. Isso <risos> So, uh, I need them uh, on there and on there. Oh, yeah. Sometimes if you shoot Trandoshan Elite's packs, they'll just fly up into the sky. <laughs> Trandoshan uh, Elites so... are the are the kind of taller Trandoshan Elites. Yeah, they're enemies? the taller okay. dudes. Okay. Funnily enough, they're not the hardest ones to fight. The hardest ones are the knife ones, they have the most health. Mm. Why the. Yeah. Made it through I mean, there without charging, dying. Right? That's the hard part that you just got through there, by the way. Well, I'm gonna just keep as a party. No, I pass you. Part where the yeah. scavengers can just randomly kill you. Now, I'm not jumping here to go fast. I'm jumping here as an attempt <laughs> to <laughs> <throw> <laughs> souls dodge <laughs> in some way. Yeah, there, there really isn't any movement tech in this game. It's just run, hold W. Oh, Out Ivy through middle. Mm, it's like a speed you. demon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's, I was... that's literally one of my stream alerts, so I got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to get a, a strat there where if you kill those droids there before they go through the door, it doesn't lock. Also, if you uh, just jump around that thing, you see. Só um momentinho, gente, que eu vou mudar o microfone aqui. Rapidão. Nice. So, saves about five to six seconds. Uh, we're coming up on some more hardcore parkour that is gonna look a lot harder than it is. Like, I'm gonna look, I'm, I'm just gonna go and downplay myself right now. You're gonna think I'm so cool, but no, it's it's really, really easy. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's Tarful. He just high jump kicked that droid. Hello, Tarful. Uh, so I'm gonna come up here, jump here. Oh, what uh, the, okay, you know what? I was right to, to downplay myself. I thought this was so myself. easy, Utsu. It is, why am I bad? <laughs> Okay, I I will say this genuinely looks way harder than it like than you were you were saying it was. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's really easy. <laughs> I'm just dumb. <laughs> it, it's one of those. I, I think I was I was in my head about it. It's one of those tricks that you you do it and it looks like it's you, know, you see it done. It looks really hard. You try doing it and you just get it first try. So I have to do a quick save, quick load for this level, um, because. There, it makes a bomb plant uh, trigger happen early, and you can get halfway through this level without realizing you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and so because that droid there, because of that skip that we that you just did there, if you don't do the quick save load at the beginning of the level, the the bomb actually never becomes activated, and there's no way to activate it. it so it's kind of required. Otherwise, you get soft locked. So I used one more. Uh, anti armor that I wanted to there, and that's because they shot one of them out of the air. Um, so I'm gonna hop up here. I'm just gonna go and throw a sonic nade for this guy. Usually I'll hit him with the anti armor too, but sonic nade works too. I'm gonna huck two of these because there's 
shot camera right there. And this is the mom thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as I said before, uh, there was a droid that I shot with a sniper rifle that made him kind of fall over, and that keeps that door from... Ok, parece que as coisas closed. deram uma acalmada <laughs> aqui. Uh, Peço desculpas aí a vocês, se saiu alguma coisa aí no microfone. Ai, ai. There we go. Made it. All right. And now we're coming up to a to a quick uh, skip that. Fazer agora um rápido skip. But not for the reasons that you think it would. Uh, it's you kind of hop onto a small bit of a collision on a on a lamp, basically. Um, but if you kind of get stuck in the collision rather than hop on top of it, the game will think you're falling. And once you finally properly land, it'll just knock out half your health bar. Yeah, the, the, the way the game counts or calculates how much damage you do. Porque ele vai tentar enganar o jogo só para fazer esse skip, senão ele poderia tomar um dano do um dano desnecessário. You want to go and talk about this also, Cram? Yeah. So Agora. This is another one of the uh, kind of big skips of this uh, the game here is um, we want to make sure that none of our squad comes into this room and, and she just also made sure to jump over those crates in a certain way to avoid a trigger. Um, it's normal, Julie. Um, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. It just ran in, but I think that's okay. I think so. Um, so... Oh yeah, it, also you can shoot this enough times and it'll just despawn. Yeah, so Tarful's, Tarful's invincible and because we're progressing by shooting that thing away, um, we have no way to actually go back and like protect him. So we need to make sure he stays invincible there. Oh yeah, I mentioned that these guys have lots of health, so it's actually just better to... Um, oh yeah, there's a Grievous card here, by the way. Um, yeah, it's actually just better to... Uh, to uh, the anti armor. <laughs> Sim, Floyd, tem isso também. <laughs> oh yeah, they're real flippy. That's like their main thing in like every single Star Wars media. Sim, tanto you faz, sim, é verdade. Um, anyways, I'm gonna come down here and just kind of dance around at a trigger. There's there's another guard who is around here and sometimes he just doesn't come after you. He'll just kind of hang out above you and not do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot up here to kind of encourage him to come down. Oh, I, I think so I we, saw his little. There yeah. he is. Yep. So we uh, so we got that rocket launcher right, and that's for this guy. I'm putting the Beyblade up here. Oh, what? What the? Oh. Opa! Ele não esperava que o inimigo viesse para cima. Okay, that worked. I think. Nice. Oh, he's still oh. dead. What? He do be flipping. He do be flippy. There we go. <laughs> flippy boy. He, he came out of the, the shock nade stun a little bit early. Yeah, what the fuck is name me, Jiga? All my squad is like low on health and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna go to campaign map. I'm gonna go to the mission we're on. And that's just gonna replenish all the health and all the ammo that we need. Oh, yeah, it's a, like, a lot better. Do you just not do that more often because it like takes a bunch of time or. <laughs> Yeah, and usually, usually, uh, transitions like that will do that for you. É, gente, ele saiu do jogo e entrou de novo porque, que é ao entrar, reentrar na fase, ele entra na fase com a vida cheia e com as armas, né, com toda a munição. Então, por isso que ele fez isso. You can't, you can't go to every level from the menu. There's no kind of certain checkpoints you can only go to. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. Hang on. There we go. I forgot he needs to disappear. That was the kind of suck for practicing. Like, I mean, I guess if you have a save system, yeah, it's pretty robust. Yeah. You can just practice forever. Yeah, you can make. I I love this dialogue here because <laughs> like, they see the spider droid and their first uh their first question isn't what are we gonna do about this. Their first question is okay, how did that get in here? <laughs> these these doors are much too small. It's a valid <laughs> question. Not yeah, basically, that's what they say. Also, why is it there? If, like, why do they just put it in a random room? I don't know. They know we're on the way. <laughs> they've mapped out our route. Uh, but yeah, they've put in 
two spider droids in this area. There's e one there. agora nessa and area then, uh, ele vai enfrentar mais duas, dois androids, né? Androids no caso que são a, é, como a, aquele droid de uh, estilo ah, não é? When you when you do the the animations like put your hand up, are you like animation canceling out of that? Because it looks so funny. Thirty eight just puts his hand up and it's like no, actually I'm good. Yeah, Eita, feliz aniversário aí, feliz. If I shot them with that anti-armor that... I don't know what Fixer was doing, but... He's having a great time. Uh, For being a Fixer, yeah, so... it sure does cause a lot of problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so... Since I don't have a... Uh, since I don't have a shotgun anymore, I'm gonna place someone to blow that one up. Um, Ele vai colocar umas bombas uh, para que um ali vai né, para ser vai ser ativado então ele já posiciona umas bombas ali para outro se ativar ele já vai destruir. I'm gonna blow up that Droidica. I'm gonna wait to blow this guy up until I break this because uh I think if you kill them it like makes more spawn. Okay, yeah, so I can tell him to get on there. Uh, uh, Lucas Smash, não sei te responder se vai ser jogado no aparelho ou, no, ou via emulação. Então, Is it just like the AI doesn't react in like a predictable way every time? Yeah, sometimes they're dumb and miss you every time, and sometimes they're SEAL Team 6. We also need to uh, stun a few of the, the Trando heavy guys, and s there's certain points on animations where they don't get stunned by them, and it's kind of hard to tell. Normal, depois que você so chega aos 30 anos. <laughs> Então, é, tem gente que, que faz modificações em consoles, uh, em consoles portáteis para você ter um método de transmitir uh, a imagem, né? de você trans, né? conseguir é, transmitir a imagem e o áudio do, do jogo, né? Tem gente que faz ah, algumas modificações, né? Para conseguir fazer esse tipo de coisa. Ah, Knight, teve sim um WR ontem, tivemos o WR em Vectron, não, né? O Runner nem estava tava jogando normalmente o jogo e simplesmente pegou o WR e não teve nenhuma reação. Foi, foi muito bizarro. Yes, yes, you can, but they kind of... So, oh, why did I quick save there? This is awful. Uh-oh. Oh! So, uh, save. Good luck. Hang on. Auto save. What's the auto save? Okay, cool. That's not cool. bad. I'm gonna throw another one of these. That should... Oh, this is actually a really good spot, actually. Sim, exatamente. Sim, exatamente. Foi ontem. O cara simplesmente pegou da VR normal. Explosion does like actually no damage. What happened was the dude, uh, he came out of his flashbang and just started filling me with bullets. Did they shoot randomly when they get flashbang, or did they like just stand no, there and do no. nothing? They stand there and do nothing. They just stand there and do nothing. Just shoot up in the air and... Yeah. Of course. Sim, voltamos o JPG sem querer. They also just don't even care about me. Exatamente. Okay, he got stunned. So you gotta make sure that you kill all these Trando guys that are falling. Foi muito engraçado o pessoal da GD que todo mundo comemorando. O cara pegou o WR, o cara pegou o WR normal. A reação dele foi muito hilária. They'll just come up behind you and shoot you in the face. Yeah, and you like have to do. De nada, Lucas Smash.
So I'm just gonna quick save here. I'm gonna double check that there's no one following me. <laughs> okay, it looks like they all forgot about me. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do something different. I need to make no noise here uh, to keep some Gene Ocean elites from killing me. So I'm gonna quick save. So ele vai dar um quick save, save quick quick pra, por questão de segurança. And that makes it porque so ele pode morrer. I, uh, I don't have to press E. It's just kind of time down. And so like, I just have to look at as long as my cursor is on it, like, Are you getting a drink right now? Okay, I bye. think she just like walked away. <laughs> bye. <laughs> uh, donations, I guess. Well, sure. I'd I'd like to let you all know that uh, we do have an open incentive for that Dolahan super boss fight in the Golden Sun, the Lost stage running up, uh, coming up later this morning. Vocês estão vendo tal? Ah, os meus do pica pau são muito hilários. Just to have more golden sun in the marathon. Yeah, and as thank as you as for that. You know, oh, whoops. Really yeah, I don't want to interrupt. You don't take much damage, so. <laughs> uh, hi, what well, I missed? Look, welcome back. <laughs> uh, Sorry, gotta, could you gotta, explain gotta... that one more time? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and the heavens just grant us this beam weapon. You're just like, hey, good job. <laughs> Never um, yeah, so we're, and uh, now then uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that again, but this time I'm not I'm not click away where. Uh, so if you've got like three donations, I do. Uh, here is fifty dollars from Pizza Sandwich. Uh, Republic Commando is an amazing and underrated game, so I'm really glad to see it in the marathon. Here's hoping we can reunite Delta Squad in a sequel someday. Good luck, Utsu. Also have $20 here from Molly Shepard. Republic Commando is one of my favorite games of all time. The biggest thanks to Bom, my mas for vocês estão vendo uma parte mecânica ali mexer justamente em cima da mão dele. Vocês não acham isso uh, meio assustador? That's a that's a reference to one of six two's lines when he's placing a bomb. He's just like. Sim, sim, exatamente, Ronaldo. And then. It's a great line. E uh, algumas seven vezes ele uh, uh, utilizou essa arma, eu só fiquei reparando justamente nisso. Absolutely love Republic Commando. Watching the run makes me want to punch myself. Absolutely love Republic Commando. Watching the run makes makes me want to go find my copy and read. Sim, parece uma barata. Exatamente, me lembra uma barata. Ai, odeio baratas. Sim, dá gastura, exatamente. Me dá gastura só de olhar. This is the second to last level in the game. And I'm just going to be ignoring my guys. They don't need to be alive, so I'm not going to tell them to stay put, but uh I also don't need them with me, so I'm just going to kind of run ahead of them. Aren't those little fingers on the the gun? E tem aracnofobia, é problemático. Is it the whole lore with this gun that like it uses Geonosian body fluid or something? Yeah, it uses their blood. So, so what it's doing when it's like all wiggling around there is it's trying to stab into my arm and take my blood. Oh man, dude, this game is something else. But you know, clone armor. So it's just like I, I can't, I, I can't get it. Uh, boss, yeah. boss, it's not working. Uh, tanto faz. Eu nem preciso dizer por que que a sua esposa não quer as baratas, né? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this, uh, this, this Wookie, he's nice and all, but uh, he has to die. No! He's gonna attack fraud. <laughs> Unnecessary attack. Oh. Then we're gonna carry uh, these over here. I'm upset. <laughs> I, I, he had a rocket launcher, okay? We need it for these guys. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, well, there goes Whoa. another one. Oh, okay. Oh, nope, he's good. Uh, Almost. Like that was really close. Bad Yelp review. Oh, nice. okay. They, they, that was them, okay? That was, that was that pretty good. Oh, yep, that's all of them. That, that, okay. that was a pretty good fight there, actually. That, you can do a quick kill where you kill them all with just the rocket launcher, but it's pretty inconsistent. It just kind of depends on where they're standing. Sim, chegamos aí aos 500 mil dólares, gente. Hype no site. Just because that's the second fastest melee animation. 
which just kind of looks like you're just like. Droga livre da música. Sim, sim, sim. É muito dinheiro, gente. Levando em consideração o preço do dólar. Desceu hoje, tá, infelizmente tá, né, não está barato, né? ainda mais né, os uh, produtos de informática estão tudo caro hoje, <risos> conta do dólar faz parte, né, fazer o quê? This is not me. This is not me like making up anything. This this has like a a for real setup, um, and it's okay. kind of RNG. So I'm gonna oh, line up my crosshair with time here. that. I'm gonna throw that. So we're gonna do another barrel uh <laughs> barrel jump here. Yeah. And this this skip is also essentially necessary. Like it skips pretty much the entire level. Uh, Quick save que virou, acho que isso vai ajudar ele a esquipar praticamente a fase inteira, se ele acertar. Unfortunately, this blowing up, uh, also, it'll go, it should go. You, you going? Where's the grenade? Buddy? Hello? Sometimes it just kind of despawns with you. There oh, it goes. Oh. God. Well, faked out. O que fazer de novo? Opa. Porque ele quer que fique numa certa posição. Ok, eu vou tentar isso. Isso parece tudo bem. Ficou, pronto. Ops. Opa, ele não conseguiu isso subir. Isso parece bom, mas... Eu tenho um bom hábito de... ...pressing a... Ih, pronto, ele conseguiu, gente. Isso foi bom. Isso foi muito legal. Então... Eu vou chegar aqui e... Usually you have to walk through this whole map all the way around and uh, through like these winding tunnels. And it's kind of wow. like a trip down memory lane where you go through like map maps that look like or areas that look like maps you've been through before. And you fight like every enemy you fought up till now. Um, and you slowly deposit your uh, your squad one by one onto these turrets in the reverse order that you got them. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's kind of cool. So you drop off 07, then you drop off 40, and then finally you're coming up to where you drop off 62. It's difficult to respond, unfortunately. But uh, don't worry, he'll be joining us shortly. How recent is that skip? It's it's really really neat. That's like it's been around for a while. One of the oldest yeah. skips. Really? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, really sick. There's been some like more consistent setups and things like that. Sim, sim, sim. Vai ter sim, Lucas Smash. Jogo bem meme aí. He was here from the beginning. So I'm going to be uh, quick saving and yeah, quick saving through here because if these pods fall on my head, I will die. Ah, ele tentou quick save porque se uma justamente é que estavam caindo, justamente essas coisas estavam caindo, se um acertasse justamente nele seria hit kill. Don't mind the fact that I'm killing. Many children. I was gonna say that's gotta also be like on the whole like war crime spectrum, right? Like <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit. There might be some ethics issues here. Yeah. Also, there was still one guy back here. I know he's back here. What are you? Did he just go out of bounds? <laughs> Yo! O inimigo acabou de clipar, gente. Ele acabou de de fazer a hora from bounds. O inimigo saiu do mapa do jogo, simples assim. And then, uh, once I blow this up, Agora, desta vez, quem clipou uh, foi o inimigo, sure nem foi o runner. Não parece que você está fazendo nada para essa ship. Não, as colisões são um pouco estranhas. Essa parte faz parecer que você está fazendo algo. And that is essentially the last interaction of the game. I just gotta wait for the uh, level to end. Yeah, time 
E finalizar a run, quando ele chegar no final da fase, será tempo, é, ou seja, já preparem seus GGs aí no chat. e essa foi a run, gente, de Star Wars. Clipe, pule, faça UB, atire, <risos> coloque bomba e hackeio. Basicamente, essa é a speedrun do jogo, em resumo. E com isso também, gente, com o final dessa run, termina aqui a... os meus comentários aqui de hoje. Né? Só dia 10 na run de Bob Esponja eu vou estar comentando. Com a Neb, Neb Neb 5000. Espero que vocês tenham curtido aí os comentários. E deixa eu ver quem é o próximo comentarista que vai entrar no meu lugar. Ito vai estar em, é, comentando no meu lugar aqui. Ele vai estar comentando o Cororimpa, o Coca-Cola Kid e Twinkle Star Sprites. Então, <risos> muito obrigado aí a presença de todos vocês. <risos> muito obrigado aí a presença de todos vocês aqui. Deixem aí um follow na Speedrun Brasil, acompanhem nas redes sociais se você quiser acompanhar todos os eventos. E até a próxima. Fui! Yeah, yeah, and and Cram and Amy, all did a great job. Thank you for commentating with me. Thank you for having me, Utsu. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Yep. I'm just glad to be here to help. All right, one more time in chat.